Dr. Stepowitz, it was years ago uh, when I first talked to you and you explained to me um, the no tolerance bleeding policy in your office, something like that anyway. I might, uh, you know, remember that wrongly. Yeah, we, uh, we call it uh, zero bleeding. Zero bleeding, all right. Zero bleeding. Go in, explain it, and, and, and very importantly, explain how you achieve it, because you've got to have something to do with dental hygiene, with brushing, and with whatever it may be. Uh, so go and, 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 and give us a, a good overall, uh, but rather specific uh, 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 point by point rundown uh, what you do there. Uh, with braces on the teeth, uh, you have so many nooks and crannies to put, <laughs> to trap the, uh, you know, the spinach and uh, whatever you're eating in there, and uh, and you don't want to go out in the public and open your mouth and show things on your braces. So most people want to clean their braces to have them look nice. However, the method that they use to clean the braces sometimes doesn't have, doesn't take care of the gum tissues as well as it should. And so we start in in our office with the fact that gum tissue is not a tender tissue. God gave us gum tissue so when we eat food and it bounces off our teeth and hits the tissue, that it's a pleasant experience, that we're not in pain eating. And that tissue that's right next to your teeth is the same tissue that's on the palm of your hands and the bottom of your feet. It's callous tissue, and the more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. I always tell my patients uh, who uh, are getting started, uh, do you remember when you were on the jungle gyms and you were... Uh, having a lot of fun there and you got those blisters on your hands and most of them say yeah I remember that and then what happened after a while yeah they went away and I had uh, you know they were my hands got real leathery well you can do the same thing with your gum tissues and once you do that they're so tight around the teeth and no food gets underneath because you're exercising them and you're cleaning them and the gum tissue just becomes really tight against the teeth. And uh, if you talk to a hygienist, they'll talk about stippling. You can see little dots on the gum tissue all around, all around the teeth. That's where the little fibers are holding the gum tissue onto the bone. And you can see that. But when, if you don't exercise your gum tissues and really get them in shape, you don't see that. And the gum tissues are swollen because you're not getting all the food out from underneath the gum. The gum tissues don't meet the teeth at a right angle. They may have a little uh, a canal around there that's called a sulcus. And in that sulcus... It's kind of like a carpet. What? It's kind of like a carpet. It doesn't necessarily lay 100% flat on the floor. It has a little bit of things where they, 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 they chicken rest and the chicken rests and the spaghetti rests uh, uh, can kind of like uh, go in and start getting rotten, right? Uh, it, it, <laughs> uh, uh, your te- the gum tissue does not meet the tooth. At a right angle, it, it goes down and it has a little flap of tissue. And, and between the tooth and that flap of tissue, that's called the sulcus. And that sulcus has to be cleaned of all any kind of anything that gets in there that would harbor bacteria. Because your mouth is loaded with bacteria. And if you don't clean the sulcus, then the bacteria grow there and infect your gum tissues and finally leads to recession of gum tissues and deep scaling and and uh, and, and periodontal surgery. And so you don't want that to happen and the only way you can do that is to brush the sulcus. And so then And by the way, is the brushing the sulcus, which is basically brushing the gums inside outside, whichever way, but is that the method you described a few minutes ago as exercising the gums? As, um, yes. It, it, you, you, and, and, the, and the dialogue that goes with it in my office is, 
you hold the brush at right angles to the teeth, and you press as hard as you can, and you brush as hard as you can, as fast as you can, and you go over specifically in each quadrant. You divide the mouth into four, and uh, you buy a brush in the back, and then the corner, and then the front in each quadrant. And if you do that as fast as you can, and, and, and spend about three or four brushings in each position, you can go over your teeth four times and finish the brushing in less than a minute. But you have exercised your gum tissues, you've cleaned everything fantastically, and, uh, and when you do that, the, the braces automatically get cleaned. So, so you don't need a timer. It's not a timing situation. It's a method where the technique is holding the brush properly and using it properly. No circles, no up and down. It, it's just back and forth. Let, let, okay, so, 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 so go even though you might not have a brush handy to, well, there we are, but, uh, but, but show us slowly the movement. You said number one in the right angle. Does that mean a 90 degree to your tooth? This is your tooth and, you, and you, you're putting it on uh, 90 degree? Uh, oh, well, and, uh, I happen to, I, yes, that's right. I happen to have a brush here. Oh my god. What is this, is a bangle office? Right what, is it, what, what is this, a bangle office or what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Here's that brush. Okay. And that is definitely against the tooth. It's straight on, and you press the brush so that the uh, so the bristles turn. They don't stay there. They turn against. You squeeze against them. the tooth, and they and they turn and go into the sulcus. And, and on my okay, uh, let's make sure let's make sure the sulcus is what. See, here's the tooth. And here's my my gums, and they kind of like lay over it, right? In, 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 if, 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 this, if this is the tooth, yeah. Okay. Here's the gum tissue. Yeah. It, it doesn't meet this way. It has a little ditch around the teeth. Okay. All right. I got it. Yeah. That's the sulcus. So so so, so it meets it, it meets this way, and, and 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 is this still the tooth here? This is the tooth. This that's is where the, the root bite. Of the tooth. Oh, that's the root of the tooth. Okay, okay. So yeah. that's the root. That's the top. Yeah. That's where you bite. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it meets like this, and the dirt gets stuck uh, in 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 between here, like in 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 here, right? Yeah. So so you press the brush against there, you know, with that with this down yeah. and you're yeah. in the brush now. You press it, and it turns on the teeth. Uh -huh. turns the, right, and then right. it gets down in the sulcus, and you go back and forth, and it goes in between your teeth and in the sulcus around the, front, uh, the, the side of the tooth. And it really, if you do it properly, you don't have to floss. Wow. No, 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 let me let, let me let me let me let me ask let me ask you here because you 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 are revolutionizing something here. Um, and number one. What you're explaining on how to brush, just to make sure that we all know here, as layman's, is that only for when you have braces on it, or is that at any given time for a for a for a for a guy like me tonight when I go home, should I be brushing the way you just said, or or do is there a different method for me? I have no braces. You see, no braces. Yeah. <laughs> well, that that is exactly what we say in the office. If you you brush this way. And when your braces come off, you keep brushing this way, and you will have all of your friends have deep scaling and root planing and have periodontal surgery, but you will not. Because by brushing in this manner for the rest of your life, like you've been doing, that you were taught when, uh, when you had the braces on, you will not have any problems with gum disease. Wow. Now, but you brush because... the same point. Because you know you're not the first, uh, uh, you know, I, I mean, you know, my life uh, to a certain degree uh, uh, revolves around uh, uh, dentists a fair amount. And I, frankly, what you just said 
you know, not a single guy has ever told me. Now, I know all about being different because when I deal with people, be it on healthcare, be it on, uh, be it on, uh, I'm on just about anything, I'm always the only guy in the room who thinks a certain way, and I'm an opinionated guy. So I, 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 I you know, uh, I'm not trying to, to disagree with here because I wouldn't know. It's not my field. I'm telling you, everyone else tells me uh, or tells us, Brush 45 degree angle, yes. uh, rotate, um, and they do say use a soft brush. Uh, what are you saying on that? Um, do you use a soft brush for your uh, purpose or a, or a rather hard one? Um, they do say actually the opposite. Don't uh, push too hard because you're hurting your gums. Um, they, they, they say those things. Now, they tell me for 58 years now, don't.